Jay here for Stratford Paddock. This is the Paper Talk. As you can see, I'm not outside Old Trafford. I'm not in the studio. I'm in my kitchen and the weather in sunny Salford is actually sunny. It was raining before, but it is sunny now. The big news, of course, was Eric Tenag is going to stay as Manchester United manager for the foreseeable future. We broke the news last night. We didn't break it. The news broke last night. We went live and we did a bit of a reaction to it. And thanks for everyone who got involved in that. It was a really good chat. I think it was David Ornstein, Mr. Reliable himself, who broke the news, who said yesterday that Manchester United and Ineos, I should say, had decided to stick with Eric Ten Hag. He put out a tweet that sent everyone into sort of, not meltdown, I think that's the wrong word, into sort of overdrive, shall we say, where it was confirmed that after this review that Ineos have been doing, this big review, this end of season review, they've decided to keep Eric Ten Hag in his position. And there was also talk of a contract extension, which is what a lot of people, a lot of news outlets are focusing on this morning. Uh, make sure before we get into all that, though, you are hitting like, share and subscribe. We've got to 750,000 subscribers. Let's get to 800,000 with your support. We can get there. A big thank you to everyone who has backed the channel. So it is a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because we've had so many stories, reports, rumours that United are interested in this manager. United want Pochettino, want Kieran McKenna, want Thomas Frank, want um, Thomas Tuchel. Then pretty much as soon as any of those names come up, there's another story that goes, well, actually, Kieran McKenna signed an extension at Ipswich. Actually, uh, Thomas Tuchel has decided he wants a break from management. Actually, Pochettino is not on Manchester United's list. Actually, Thomas Frank is still on the list, but we don't think there's anything happening there. It's all been a bit weird because every time you think, okay, this looks like there might be something in it, it's sort of blown out of the water. Now, however, we know who's going to be the manager next season for Manchester United. It's going to be Eric Ten Hag, and it looks like he could be getting an extension as well. We've spoken about it a lot on the channel. Ronaldo Brown's always bringing it up, and rightly so, that it doesn't seem like you're backing a manager just to say, well, we're just going to leave you with a year left on your contract. We've interviewed other people, but we're going to stick with you, and you've got a year, yeah, so no, we'll just leave it. That doesn't really feel like you're saying you're our guy. However... If you give him an extension, if he knows he's going to be the manager or he should be the manager past just the end of the season, then that does give you that little bit of stability. Sorry, And it also does send a message to the players as well that, look, this isn't Ralph Ragnick. This isn't just the manager who's coming in and he's going to be here till the end of the season. And then you can, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're falling out with him or if you're not playing well or if you're not feeling what he's doing, don't worry about it. Someone else will take over soon. This is saying, look, this is your manager and he's going to be here for a little while. So you either get on board with what he's trying to do or you get moved on. I think that's the attitude Ineos needs to take because for far too long now, we've seen managers sort of lose control of the dressing room. And in some cases, as Roy Keane said once famously on Sky, players have thrown him under the bus and we can't keep having that Manchester United. Hopefully now with Eric Tenag, we can have a little bit of stability. It's quite rare post Alex Ferguson that managers even get a third season. I know the likes of Jose and, and Oli did, but look at David Moyes lasted less than a season. Ralph Ragnick was obviously a season. Louis van Gaal lasted two seasons. It's not, it's not a given that you're going to get that third season as Manchester United manager and even Beyond that, I don't think there's anyone who's done four seasons post for Alex at Manchester United. So it'd be good to see if he gets a contract extension and does well enough to keep his job. Because obviously, if he's winning matches and winning trophies, he carries on winning trophies, then he'll keep in the job. So Sky News are covering the story now. They've jumped on it. Uh, it says Eric Tenag will stay as Manchester United manager. Fantastic. Uh, United and Tenag are said to be aligned after the club's end of season review, a process which lasted longer than two weeks and saw other managers sounded out for the role. However, the conclusion from the review was that Tenag should remain in charge and negotiations have begun over a contract extension for the Dutchman. Tenag's current contract ends at the end of the season, or sorry, end of next season, you know, this season coming, with the club having the option of extending it by a further 12 months. United finished the disappointing eighth, their worst finish in the Premier League era, but beat rival City to lift the FA Cup, Tenag's second trophy in as many years. Um, they also got a little quote here, what Tenag said on his future after the FA Cup final win, win sorry, he said, the team is progressing and we are winning trophies. Two trophies in two years is not bad. Three finals is not bad, but we have to keep going. I'm not satisfied with it. We have to do better. And if they don't want me anymore, then I'll go elsewhere. Oh, sorry. I'll go anywhere else to win trophies because that is what I have done my whole career. And he's, and he's right to say that. I mean, he won a lot of trophies at Ajax. He has won trophies at Manchester United. Yes, you can look at the league form and say it isn't good enough. And I, I get that. But he's won trophies. He's won back-to-back -back trophies. So... There's a little bit of weight behind his words and it does seem as though Manchester United are going, all right, then, yeah, you know, we're going to stick with you. Let's give you that, presumably, that 12-month extension. We'll have to wait and see. 
because he does need some sort of assurances. Does he? he must be feeling a little bit put out as well because he's. He, we heard these reports from Sky and it was a bit of a nothing story, to be fair, from Sky, where they said Eric Tenag is aware that Manchester United have been talking to other managers. Well, obviously he's aware. He's not an idiot. He's got access to the internet. I know he's been on his holidays, but he must have been able to go on his phone or pick up a paper or get a text message that says... Look, have you seen this story? Have you seen that story? He must know what's going on. I'm sure his agent or someone told him as well. So the idea that he was aware that um, United had been speaking to other managers was a pretty obvious one. And that was one that Sky were running. And I just thought, well, yeah, of course he is. But the point is, he can't have been filled with you know much love, filled with much um, enthusiasm for the job he's got when he is that his bosses are looking to replace him and interviewing almost any manager under the sun. However, if they now sit down with him and say, look, yep, you're our guy. Here's an extension as well. That is backing him. That is showing him with your actions that despite what you've done in terms of interviewing other managers, that he's your guy. And also, I think we've already had a little bit of spin in some of these news reports that Ineos have said, well, they've spoken to everyone, spoken to all these other managers and decided that Eric Ten Hag's the right guy, almost making it look like you've done him a favour. Look, we spoke to everyone else, but you're the best. We really like you. It's not kind of like that, is it, really? They obviously spoke to the managers because they thought there was doubts regarding whether Eric Ten Hag was the right man for the job. Otherwise, he wouldn't have spoke. You didn't speak to the managers when Sir Alex Ferguson was in the middle of his um, career at Manchester United, did you? I know you might have done when he said he was going to retire, but I can't imagine him speaking to the managers in 99 or whatever. So you're obviously looking at the managers because you're doubting the one you've got. I think that's pretty, you know, pretty simple. But if they are keeping him, well, it looks like they are. If they do offer him extension, if they back him in the transfer window, then hopefully he can move forward and he's not too put out by the fact that Manchester United have been speaking to the likes of Thomas Tuchel, speaking to the likes of Thomas Frank, speaking to the likes of, um, I think, Kieran McKenna as well. Sorry, my cat's just getting involved here. Look, look at this. Hey. I think you might have to let him out. Uh, he's buzzing. He's a big Eric Tanag fan. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, what has happened has happened. It's not been great. But we have to move on. We have to move forward and we have to move forward together. You've got Dan Ashworth coming in. You've got Jason Wilcox, who's already there. You've got Omar Browder coming in as well from Manchester City. Now, these are people that know football, understand football, and are coming from clubs that have got a good structure. So, hopefully, they can work with Eric Ten Hag. One of the biggest criticisms of Eric Ten Hag has been the fact that he's not managed his transfer budget that well. You look at someone like Anthony, for example, wasting 80 million quid on Anthony. That is a big stick to be beaten with. And he should be beaten with it because he's been one of the worst signings, I think, ever for Manchester United. I'm not trying to hate on the guy, but I just think he's been a bit of a disaster. So maybe he needs reining in a little bit. Maybe he needs a structure above him where they can go, look, never mind the player that you saw in the Dutch league. We've got a player here for you who can do a job and we think you should buy him and we're going to help you get him. That would make a lot of sense to me. If we can get this structure in place, give Eric Ten Hag the chance to work with proper football people instead of the likes of Richard Arnold and Edward or whoever it is he's been working with over the past couple of years, then United can move forward in a proper, constructive way and hopefully get challenging where we should be, not in eighth, but at the top of the table. Listen, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to be back later on today with the uh, transfers live. Um, what can I say? This cat, man. Don't leave me alone. Um, so we're going to be back later on with transfers live. Uh, make sure you are hitting like, share and subscribe. I'm Jay Motty. This has been the Paper Talk. The weather outside is shine. Sun, sun outside is sun shining. Hey, get me words out. And also, all is good because Eric Tenag is staying as Manchester United manager. And I, for one, am happy about that. See you in the next one.